Ndeja University in central Uganda provides meals to 1,800 students every day and uses huge amounts of cooking wood in the process. The university is looking to change that with the help of the German engineer Albrecht Schmidt, who is working with the Energy Research Center to replace wood with more sustainable briquettes made from corn waste. The first new stove is already in operation. It was a former firewood stove and we adapted it to the briquettes. We are already planning to adapt another stove for briquettes to briquettes and uh, one by one will be replaced, I think. The university hopes to radically reduce its wood consumption. Uganda has a huge problem with deforestation. Every year, 90,000 hectares of forests are lost in the country. Much of the wood is used to cook food. Most of the institutions talk about schools, talk about prisons, talk about universities. They use a lot and a lot of fuel for cooking. And mainly the fuel that is being used for cooking is the firewood uh, where they cut trees. And you know, this is not uh, sustainable anymore. So we started thinking, can we be able to, uh, to apply briquettes on an institutional level? The university gets the materials for its briquettes from local farmers who grow corn, also known as maize. We take the maize only, the cobs we just throw in the garden, or we just leave it there to rot. It is good that when, when these people came, they are at least giving us some money and they give, take the, the corpse. Albert Smith has persuaded the farmers to collect the cobs rather than throwing them away. For three large sacks, each farmer receives the equivalent of one US dollar. It's a welcome source of extra income for the small-scale farmers who often struggle financially. The cubs are dried at a small factory, then placed in a carbonizer for two days. It turns them into charcoal. They are then mixed with water and molded into briquettes. These are left to dry in the sun for another five days. Then they are ready for use. The factory produces a ton of briquettes each week. That's nowhere near enough. We cannot produce much more. And we calculate it to replace all the firewood of our university kitchen and this school we provide with briquettes, we need around four tons per week. So we have to build another bigger carbonizer. Since starting to produce briquettes, the university has massively cut back on firewood use. That's not only helping to preserve the forest, it's also saving the institution money. And the idea is catching on. A nearby school has now also introduced a new technology. Albert Smith is hoping the project will set a precedent nationwide and help stop the rapid disappearance of Uganda's forests.